first and foremost, I am wearing this top by Fee Noel. She is a luxury designer. She's also black. She's from right here in New York City. So I love to shop her collection. She makes amazing clothes in case you don't know. I've been shopping Fee Noel for years. She is from the Caribbean black designer. Love her, adore her. If you're new here, you're like, oh, really? If you are an OG to my YouTube channel, then you know I love Fee Noel. I've been loving Fee Noel for years and I have almost every piece that she's ever come out with. So I love, love, love her. So I wanted to make sure I talked about this top. I also think this top is on sale at Forward or Revolve. No, she's not at Revolve. I think Forward or Intermix. But if I see if I see the um, sale, I will absolutely link it below because we all love a sale and we love to support black designers. Also, my earrings are from um, Oma the Label. These are, I think these are the large hoop earrings, chunky hoop earrings from Oma the Label. You can get them directly from her site that is also a black designer. We love black designers here, of course. I always talk about black designers. So I wanted to make sure I also shouted that brand out. Also my makeup, I'm trying to do like a refresh summer look. So um, if this is your vibe, let me know. If you're like, Tanika, you need a little bit more on the face, then you know, I keep it to yourself. <laughs> Don't tell me, please. Don't tell me. Um, but let's get into, let's get into what I got in London. First of all, I was actually on a brand trip for a perfumery called Florist London. I love Florist London. They just make such amazing, amazing scents. This video is not sponsored. They didn't ask me to talk about this in the YouTube video. Um, I went on a sponsored trip to London. They flew me out to London, paid for my flight hotel. I had an amazing time, went to the Royal Windsor like show. It was just totally, totally a fun time in London. I really, really enjoyed myself. Um, and the perfume, they launched the Platinum 22 for the Queen, Queen Elizabeth's Jubilee, which is like her 70th anniversary since she has been the queen. And the perfume is amazing. It is like, it has lily, it has rose. It's just a really classic, very, to me, very feminine scent. And you know, I'm a scent girl. If you follow me on any of my platforms, you know, I love to squeeze in a little perfume and I love, love this scent. So I wanted to make sure I talked about why I was there because I think it's important to just be honest. I didn't just like fly to London for a week on my own time. Y'all know I will, but I didn't this time I was there for a brand trip. Okay, so first up is Louis Vuitton. I did some damage at Louis Vuitton. We love Louis Vuitton. I actually don't have that many pieces from the brand and I always look to see if there are things that I would like. I think one of the reasons why I was a bit reserved on purchasing things from the brand is because I didn't feel like it held its value. I don't know why I really care about that, but I do. Now this um, toiletry pouch by Louis Vuitton is discontinued this exact one is discontinued i actually purchased this oh my god at least eight years ago now and it is in tip top condition awesome. but i'm just letting you know that i own this piece from louis vuitton that was my own this was my only louis vuitton piece that i ever owned it wasn't shade towards the brand it wasn't anything i just didn't have any pieces from louis vuitton i never was a never full girl i feel like in new york city it's more common to have a Goyard tote bag. And so I have a Goyard tote bag. And I never felt the need to have the Neverfull. Nothing shady going on. Nothing shady. I love the girls. The girls love me. The girls got the Neverfull. I think the girls look cute in the Louis Vuitton. I just really didn't find anything for me. Fast forward to being in London. So there I was minding my business. I'm always on the hunt for the Louis Vuitton like uh, packing cubes. They're always sold out online. The Louis Vuitton packing cubes are always sold out online. And so from time to time, I will go into a Louis Vuitton and I will ask, you know, especially if there's no line, when you're in Paris, the line is out the door. And so I've never gotten up early to go to a Louis Vuitton. But I always ask about the packing cubes. So I was like, are there any packing cubes? Because I would love like some, you know, just like some quality classic Louis Vuitton packing cubes. I feel like Louis Vuitton is really known 
for their trunks, you know, their travel pieces. That is how the brand got started. And so I was like, travel, Louis Vuitton, me, let's do it. So she took me in to the store. She was like, yeah. And I was like, no, she don't. Because they never, they literally never have them. I mean, it's been like five years. I randomly go into a Louis Vuitton and say, do you have any? And they'll say no. And so I usually know the answer is no. I can never find them online. But again, when I'm in a foreign country, I will try to get them. So when she said yes, she was saying yes to this Louis Vuitton monogram PM packing cube. It is so tiny, y'all. It is like the size of my little bitty hand. So in case you don't know, I wear like a size six shoe. I don't know why I keep saying that, like that makes sense to people for hands, but um, I'm smaller than I appear online, okay? And um, she's 5'3", allegedly, okay? So the legs are not tall and she's not very statuesque. And so I'm just letting you know for reference how small this is. I was looking for the larger ones, like the literal packing cubes where I can pack my clothes and have like the high quality vinyl that Louis Vuitton is known for, the gold trimming, etc. She didn't have that. She had this. So she showed me this. And I was like, okay, cool. I'm interested. So um, I actually have already used this. I went to DC for a Pinterest event and um, I used my toiletries and because, you know, your girl still is new to nice things. Not very new, but, you know, I didn't grow up with nice things. So, it's hard for me to just throw all of my stuff in there all willy-nilly. Because the inside is brown. It's cloth. You know, I have some makeup wipes. I think that's a, that might be a tampon. And um, some, like, miniature-sized gel that I think was in here. I use this for my toiletries just for, like a 48 hour trip to DC from New York City. And so I put my stuff in a Ziploc bag and then I put it in here, okay? Then I put it in here. And it packed so nicely, of course I zipped it because I don't want anything to explode and then I have to clean it. And I know people tell me that it does clean nicely, but it's cloth inside there. So I was like, mm -mm. but I was like, okay, yes, thank you. I will have, okay, thank you, appreciate it. Okay, then she was like, oh, I have another piece. What is that? Mm -mm. So then she was like, oh, I have another piece. And I was like, okay, let me see that girl. Don't hold out on me. So then she brought this one out, which I really like this one because it's slightly bigger than the other one. It also has this top handle. It like, you know, it has the zipper. It's really, really cute. It has a pocket in the back. I have like some Gucci travel size stuff in here that I also purchased while I was in London. Because this like Gucci all-purpose gel, I actually really like it, but it's always sold out in the United States. So again, when I go abroad, I like to ask for stuff that I can't actually see on the website that is available in the United States. So I was like, yes, yes to this Louis Vuitton piece. Let me show you uh, how this compares to the uh, packing cube, like the monogram, I think it's the PM, small size. So this is how they compare. One is obviously much, much bigger than the other. Yeah, so I can just like put it inside. I can zip this up, you know, like I wouldn't get something to like do that in. This is really a really a great set to pack when I'm traveling. I use this for my makeup. I put a Ziploc bag with my makeup inside of here, again, to protect the inside. This one is a little bit easier. I think this is leather in the inside. That's what the care instructions said. So it is room to like, you know, clean and clean it well. And so I'm not as worried about this as I am about this piece. But I love this. I think this is super cute to pack like my carry on luggage. And that's what I did when I went to DC. Last on the Louis Vuitton train is this little bitty girl. She's so little. So she is a smaller version of the other one. Yeah, so she's a smaller version of her. You know, you have the top handle. We love the go detail. So I packed my jewelry in here. So I have my jewelry in here. I had my makeup in here and I had my toiletries in here. And it was all for like an overnight stay. And I think that's just so, so cute. Like the three pieces. They also all fit into this trunk. Let me show you the trunk. So this is it. This, I still have the cover on the mirror. Um, there's this little pouch up here. I think, yeah, this is like the little lock and key that it comes with. 
It also comes with the strap. I can also put the strap on the little ones. So if I want to make me a little bitty bag, I can totally do that. The strap though only comes with the big one. I love that all three of those pieces can fit inside of here. I was just so thirsty to get this. This, when she broke this out, I was like, give it to me. Now they do, they did have a mini trunk. I kind of regret not getting the mini trunk because I think that's also a really classic piece for Louis Vuitton. The thing that I love about this, I'm thinking about getting it, you know, like monogram, like my initials. I think it's just going to be such a good piece to pass down generation after generation. That's what I think of when I think about this. I also think it's going to be really cute once the leather wears a little bit and there's just a little bit more like it's like a deeper color. I think it's really going to look nice, but I love it. I got this straight from Louis Vuitton. It wasn't secondhand. I don't know if it's going to hold its value. I don't really, you know, care. I don't really plan on selling it. Um, I didn't get to use this piece yet. I'm obviously going to be taking this with me on my summer travels. I'm going to be packing this inside my carry-on. If they ask to take my carry-on, I'm going to grab this out of there, okay? This will be with mother at all times because I think it's just so stunning. And it's clearly an heirloom. It's clearly something that's, that's going to stay uh, in, in my closet for a while. And so I'm super happy I picked up this Louis Vuitton piece from London. Okay, next up on my London purchases, luxury purchases, is this item that I got from... Selfridges. It is Bulgari. We love, we stand. I was looking at the brand for a while. I just feel like they are so unique in their quality. They make such quality handbags and they add this like jewelry to it. And so I've always been trying to figure out which piece I would splurge on. I was looking at the secondhand market. There are some bags that are more I just feel like common, but when I walked into the store, because I went over to Bulgari to look for something to purchase from them to see if I saw anything more unique, more like standout-ish for me, and this is what I found. And y'all know I am a peach, sienna, orange, all shades of orange kind of girl. This screams summertime. It's going to scream fall when fall comes. It's going to scream like all seasons for me, like spring, summer, fall. I We might let her rest in the winter. We might let her rest. But what I love about her is just the jewelry in the front. I mean, it is just so decadent. It is a mini bag. It does come with a strap. You know, I'm a New York City girl, so I love a strap. You can take the strap off. You can take the strap off. And she becomes the daintiest quilt little um evening bag and i love that it looks like it can it can fit more than you know definitely more than the dior micro bags the dior micro bags can't fit a thing not even my patience honey it can't fit not even my identification okay but this is just the perfect size when i saw this i had to have her they did have a few other colors i was thinking also about getting the celine I can't remember the name of it, but it's one of the like micro bags. I saw it a while ago and now I can't really find it in like the colors I would want, which are like the bright statement colors. They only have, I only see black and I can get that in New York City, but I love this bag. I'm so happy I got this bag. I just love the quality of the bag, the stitching of the bag. The material is so, so stunning. So I picked up a few things from Hermes. I picked up these sandals. I was looking for this color. This color was going in and out of stock in New York. And so I saw these, they were on display. And they were like, we can't give you the ones on the display because they're slightly used. But I was like, um, can you figure out a way? So we talked to the manager. I was able to get these. These are a size 36. Again, they are the Oran sandals. We love the Oran sandals. I think they're just going to perform so well for the summertime. I love them because I have a narrow feet. Now, if you have a wide feet, I would not necessarily suggest these. Also, if you don't like for it to like clap in the back, like the heel, you may have some challenges with that. Also, if you don't like shoes that are flat, like it is ultra, ultra flat shoe. Okay, so you are, there's no arch. If you have an arch, 
in your foot, you might struggle a little bit with these shoes. But again, I love the shoes. I got them mainly for the color. I think this is like my sixth pair. So, you know, just keeping up, just keep going with things that I love. If I love something, I'm gonna get it in like 50 colors, okay? If I love something and they come out with another color, sign me up. Speaking of which, <laughs> this belt is, I have this belt also, two others in this, um, in this Kelly belt. And this is a, I think she told me it was a rose gold, but this is not rose gold. This is like the classic gold. But I love these Kelly belts. They are, let me put these shoes, these shoes. Ooh, shoes kind of go with my shirt, my Fino shirt. Yeah, so I love this belt. It is super adjustable. It's just like, you know, it's kind of a discreet little, you, you don't see the, you don't see the brand until you're like all up on it. You have to literally be so close up on this belt to see it, but that's okay. We're not trying to stunt like that. It's a good quality belt. It's gonna last 20, 30 years. The quality is there. The craftsmanship is there. The stitching, the stitching is on point. One thing about it, they are light years, light years ahead of so many brands when it comes to the quality. I just, I mean, first of all, compared to Chanel, forget it. Chanel, this, don't get me started on this. Oh, Hermes, it's the way to go. All right, are you ready? Ta-da, she is a micro. She's a micro, she's a micro girl, she's a micro Lady Dior, oop, saddlebag. Oh, I'm too hype, I done named the wrong thing. Let me get some scissors to cut this off. There she is, the little bitty, itty bitty. Oh my goodness, get into this tiny saddle. She is so stunning. I love her. I'm obsessed. So in case you don't know, I have the micro in green. I already have the micro in green. Here's the thing. The same person that sold me this green in London, like in February, sold me this orange. So I went in for the orange. I was with another content creator. We were walking through Selfridges. Well, what's funny is we were supposed to have lunch. We were going to have lunch. We scheduled lunch. And then, um, you know, it, I think, I forgot what time it was, but I was in Chanel looking for something that they didn't have. And she walked in looking for something they didn't have. And um, <laughs> we saw each other like, now we both shopping, girl. And so we walked over to leave. And if you've never been inside of Selfridges, the Dior is right next to the door, okay? That's how they get me every single time. So I saw him, he saw me. We were like cackling because we have obviously seen each other in months. And he was like, what are you doing, you know, in London? And um, I was like, ooh, I actually regret not buying the orange uh, Lady Dior. And when I came back to New York, they didn't have it. And I've kind of been looking for it. And he was like, oh, I have it. So he went and got it and showed it to me. And I was like blown away. And then he was like, oh, let me show you the other orange pieces. When she came out, it was over. And here's the thing, y'all. I know, I already know this is like in 10 years, it's going to be like, why did you buy this $50? <laughs> resale value <laughs> embarrassing but right now she gives me so much serotonin she gives me so much energy she may have cured my anxiety and ADHD she has cured my seasonal depression she is everything okay and here's the thing she's not everybody's taste she's not going to be most people's taste and she's really not going to be most people's taste because she costs so much money and she cannot fit a cell phone. Ma'am, she can't fit a cell phone. If you walk out of the house with her, you are going to be stranded. Do you hear me? Because you can't fit a thing in here. Not a thing. Not my patience. 
Um, you could probably fit, you know what? You could probably fit, um, you could fit like 50 cent, like two quarters, maybe three quarters. You could fit some lip gloss. Like I can only fit my keys by themselves. Let me show you. Cause I know y'all are like, no, she's gassing it. I'm not gassing it guys. I have one already. It doesn't fit anything. Okay. These are, this is a bowl. I got the bowl from Kenya y'all. <laughs> Um, these are lotions that I put in my bags and so I keep them in a bowl so I can always have some lotion in my bag. Okay, so we will try those, but let's try. Well, first we have to take the stuffing out. Let's try my keys. I don't think this is like janitor's keys. I don't know why the Audi is on here. We haven't had an Audi in years. We don't have a car. We live in New York City. Um, I have like my library card, five, you know, a few keys, my parents keys. Let's see. That's it. Look how stuffed that is. Look how stuffed. <laughs> like that's that's literally it. You could maybe fit a lip gloss. Guys, I'm telling you. It is a it is a um card holder with a strap. That's what it is. I'm not I'm not guessing it. I'm telling you what I know. And y'all know I live and love Dior. And I purchased this absolutely on my own. Nobody, I'm not in collaboration with Dior. I wasn't gifted. No, girl. I purchased it on my own and I am obsessed. Okay. Let's see. My Chanel lotion, the like cream main. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. That can fit. Can we do that and the keys? The an we know the answer is no. Mm -mm. See, so it can be a lotion holder for the Chanel. Let's see the Miss Dior lotion. It's too long because remember it's it's only this much on this side. Yeah, no. The replica um, Margiela Lazy Sunday Morning lotion. Ooh, almost yeah, but it's like I feel like it's gonna scratch up the side a little bit. But yeah, that's it and some. See, now I can't get it out. The, like, Dries Von Noten. I also got this in um, London. I didn't share all, like, the perfumes I got. Because I'm like, y'all know I got a bunch of perfumes. Y'all know how I do. I got the new Dr Dries Von Noten perfumes. So, let's see. Yeah, again, it's like the Miss Dior. It'll scratch up. So, yeah. nothing that's what can fit in here nothing but it does come with a strap <laughs> we love a strap we love a strap that's really you know i don't require the bag to be highly functional i really don't i just require it to be cute for the moment i think my biggest issue will be if i can like resell it before the value like totally depreciates but like after i've you know been done with it let me put this stuff away because this is going to look so messy in the video. Okay, so this is the strap. So we'll just hook the strap on. And let me just show y'all where it hits. Yeah. This might be a little too loud, even though it's, you know, it's vibing. No, I will wear this because I have on jeans. I feel like that breaks it up nicely. I wouldn't necessarily like, I don't know. I wouldn't wear these with the neon pants yes i would why why do i always say that i always say what i wouldn't do i think because i'm trying to come i'm trying to appear more normal <laughs> i'm like i'm trying to appear more like not as a maximum maximalist that i am i'm like oh how do i ease people into it like tanika boyd you know and they know that you would wear all that together especially to an event i would i would so here's the thing, I'm obsessed with the bag. I cannot wait to rock this bag during the summertime and all the things. I think I might shoot a reel this week with this bag because that's how much, whew, that's how much I'm going up for her. She is taking me all the way up and I stand. Yeah, that's the review. That's the review. I, I did an unboxing and a review all in one. Yeah. So can I get a like for that? Yeah. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Yes. 
All right, if you made it this far, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing some of the things that I purchased in London. When I am out of the country, I love to purchase some things, especially luxury items. They tend to be less expensive. The thing about the UK though, you do not get like your taxes back or you know you you don't get any vat at the airport so they are not a part of the european union brexit so you know that kind of messes us up a little bit but things are tend to still be a bit cheaper there and so if you're already if you know you're going and you know you're already gonna purchase the items i say why not do it there so that is what i love about this all right go ahead and like go ahead and subscribe, hit the bell notification so that you never miss an upload from me. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.